positively sure that you're asking yourselves or asking everybody around you or whatever the case may be, um, where the hell is this guy now? <laughs> we left Seoul, or we left the bubble, particularly Reina, to head out to Beagle Point, which is technically the furthest distance from Seoul, about 65,000 light years. And um, just by trying to get here on just neutron jumps alone, with no fleet carrier involved, yeah, we um, we're definitely going to be in for a task of a, a difficult task of getting towards the other side of the galaxy. But we're going to con continue to push on as always, and um, right now we're at a, a little vacation spot, we're just taking a rest because we just traveled about 30,000 light years uh, through the galaxy. It's been taking some time. We, we originally wanted to go straight across from Reina straight to Beagle Point. Couldn't do it because there were some areas where we were going to be without any contact, without any type of assistance. And when I say that, I, I mean like stations that we can refuel and, and, and repair our ships. Uh, just to continue to continue the journey most of the modules are failing piece by piece as we go across and God forbid that I try to land on any type of um, planetary body so we can just take a rest it's, it always turns out bad but we're here on a fleet carrier somewhere I would say about eight or nine thousand away from Sagitt Sagittarius A. I'm just trying to get a uh, refresher so we can continue this jump. Um, we're on a, a fleet carrier called Starlight. I'm not quite sure if anyone is familiar with it, but we'll bring it up so you, everyone can see. Um, but without further ado, let's 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 just get into it because I normally. Uh, throw throw a little um, intro video here for you guys so you know exactly who's talking to you and what we do um, and this is actually part of the channel so if you guys like um, the contents here just make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so um, you don't miss out on what's, what's happening but without further ado let's get it As I said before, we're over here on this fleet carrier that's out in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to pull it up on the screen so you guys can basically see. Uh, right now, we're just in our function here with our... Our cam system. Beautiful ship, but yes, definitely has been taking a toll on it. It has been getting some battle scars just from the journey itself. I'm going to go back in in a second. Just want to make sure that we have a nice good aerial view of where you guys are at. We're on a starship uh, fleet carrier called Starlight. And trust and believe it isn't a haven out here because we were ready to call it quits as far as not being able to find any place to to repair our ship we had significant damage on the starboard side um, from landing a couple times and there it is starlight so yeah we definitely wanted to just find a place where we can just um, refuel and 
get back into the swing of things. So here we are. Here we are. All right, so let's 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 go. Let's jump right in here. Uh, let's see exactly where we're at. Um, we've put up the galaxy map just to make sure, and of course you see this, the the uh, yeah, so light is better. Also, as always. Uh, let's go to the galaxy map. Took a couple turns here and there, um, but it's all, all, all for the better. Let's see where we're at here now. All right, that's Sagittarius A, and the bubble is somewhere back here, I believe. Is it? I, I think so. Um, we are trying to make our way to Beagle Point, so let's put that. Let's put that in there and see exactly where how far we're going here. Um, the Ovasi S G Y. Let's see where that's going to take us. Control. Drop that in there, and looks like a straight shot. Thirty-four thousand. <laughs> Almost thirty-four thousand light years to go. If we were to plot this route, a route is unavailable. Okay. Beagle Point is somewhere around here, also. Let's just go ahead and type it in. Uh, Beagle Point. It's about a thousand light years away from the overseas. Um, let's see if we can actually plot a route here. And that's unavailable also. Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Let's go back and see exactly from what distance 34,000 is looking like. To where we are right now, and yeah, that's about 34,000. So we're gonna just take this in points. We're gonna jump jump this in point. There is um, a spot that we wanna we wanna see uh, called the uh, what is it called? The nebula. It's called the Phoenix Nebula. We're gonna plot that in because we wanna make sure that we just make that uh, single point there to jump. Um, we have some some. Um, Accommodating, um, accommodating um, fleet carriers. Squadron mate broccoli so rob one cent. Any quick tips for APV guys to get to all max for engineering about, stuff? Mm, halfway there. Now uh, let's see exactly what this says here. If you plot this route, see exactly how it goes. Oh, that's going to take forever. We're going to jump into our. Let's go into our neutron plotter, see if our neutron plotter will give us something better. Neutron plotter saying 55 jumps from where we are. And this one is saying 59 jumps. Okay, so we're gonna go to the neutron plotter then. Our first jump off of this heap of metal. Quadrant mate Haver Stash sends. I do laser mining to get my raw mats if that's what you're after. Back that way, why? Um, I don't know why, but let's plot this one in here and see if we're able to get this so far away from this one. Okay, that's not that far, so it's about 85 from here. 
Pause locked in. From where we are right now, so two jumps, right? All right, let's get this piece of metal off the ground and let's get going. It seems like um, disengaged from local networks. Carrier, you can tell it's one of the originals. Squadron mate, oh, broccoli rock on. one cents. Oh, okay, so on maybe he'll buy some sort of ship that does that. Um, and I can trade what I mine for stuff like nickel, arsenic, manganese. Squadron mate have a stash sense. No, the raw mats pop out of asteroids randomly. Squadron mate have a stash sense. Your collector limpets asterisk 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 K them up. Squadron mate have a stash sense. I suggest looking at YouTube videos on laser mining to get the idea on what kind of ship you can start with. is heading to the Crazer Foxtrot Yankee Dash Golf Delta 11-484 system. Caution, neutron star detected. Of course, this is your first star. visit to this system. Squadron mate broccoli rob one cents. Okay, thanks. Beautifully done. We're this system has yet to be logged with universal somewhere. cartographics. Plot neutron star alpha here. is uncommon and notable relative to similar class november neutron stars with an extremely high average density of 150,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000 kilograms per cubic meter i love when she does that this one is 145 clicks out 145 light years Taking us deeper and deeper on the outer rim. And I'm sure it's going to try to see if it can utilize as much of a, a denser population of systems so we can have a little bit more resources at our hand, our fingertips. So we're going to jump here. Course plotted. So this is basically going to be the spiel of the entire mission. I'm going to be jumping from system to system just to make sure that we can get to our point. So as we get and we approach closer and closer to um, our, our uh, destination here, which is the Phoenix Nebula, I will definitely touch back with you guys. Um, so we can enjoy the festivities as we get closer and closer to that system. But for now, guys and commanders, I bid you farewell. 
I'll see you out there in the dark.